Hi, let's solve one previous question of context free language DOC. This question was asked in Gate Series 2016, set 1. It was question number 42. Let's read the question. Consider the following context free grammar G1. S tends to A, S or B. B tends to B or B, B. This is grammar 1. Next grammar 2. S tends to A, A or B, B. A tends to A, A or B or epsilon. B tends to B, B or epsilon. Which one of the following pair of language is generated by G1 and G2 respectively? Four options is given. Let's analyze one by one grammar. First grammar, A tends to A, S or B, then B tends to B or B, B. From this B, which string you can generate? From B, you can generate minimum one B. Then you can generate B, B, then B, B, then B, like this. So you can generate any number of B, minimum one B, then any number of B. So what will be regular expression? Regular expression will be B positive closure. From B, you can generate any number of B. Next, from S, what you can generate? From S, you can generate B. Then from B, you can generate any number of B. Then from S, you can generate A, S. And from S, you can generate A, S. Then you can generate B. From B, you can generate any number of B. So what will be regular expression for this? It will be A clean closure. B positive closure plus B positive closure for this B. And you know you can write this as A clean closure, B positive closure. As from this regular expression, you can generate this. So for S regular expression will be A clean closure, B positive closure. Means number of A should be greater than equal to 0 and number of B should be greater than 0. So what will be language? Language will be a power m, b power n, m greater than equal to 0. As it is clean closure, it can accept epsilon. So it can be equal to 0 or greater than 0. Then n value is greater than equal to 0. As this is positive closure, minimum it will accept 1b, then any number of b. Which string it will accept? It will accept b. When a clean closure is epsilon, it will accept B, 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 any number of B, when A clean closure is epsilon, when this is not epsilon, you can accept A, B, then 2, A, 3, B. So it can accept any number of A followed by any number of B. Minimum A should be 0, minimum B should be 1. Now check in which option this language is present. This is present in option D. Let's analyze grammar 2. From this B, what you can generate? From B, you can generate epsilon. Then you can generate B, B. Then from this B, you can generate B, B. Then you can generate epsilon. So what will be regular expression for this? It will be B clean closure. Minimum, you can generate epsilon. Then you can generate any number of B. Let's see this grammar. From A, what you can generate? From A, you can generate epsilon. Then from A, you can generate B. And from B, you can generate B clean closure. Then from A, you can generate A, A, A. From A, you can generate A, A, then A, A. Then from A, you can generate epsilon. So you can generate A clean closure. Then from A, you can generate A, A. Then from A, you can generate A, A. And from this A, you can generate B. And from B, you can generate B clean closure. So you can generate A clean closure, B clean closure. You can generate only B clean closure when you derive B and from B you can derive this. You can generate only A clean closure when from A you will derive A A and epsilon. You can derive A clean closure, B clean closure when you will use both derivation, this A A and B. So regular expression will be A clean closure plus a clean closure, B clean closure, plus B clean closure. That thing you can write simply as A clean closure, B clean closure. As A clean closure can be generated from this when B clean closure is epsilon. And B clean closure can be generated this when A clean closure is epsilon. Let's analyze this grammar. A tends to A, A or B, B. A, A. From A, you can generate A clean closure, B clean closure. So, just write down A, then A clean closure, B clean closure. 
and B B from B you can derive B clean closure so write down B B clean closure. Now after concat it will be A positive closure B clean closure plus B positive closure. B concat with B clean closure that will be B positive closure. Minimum string accept single B then any number of B. Now this thing you can write as A positive closure this you can write as epsilon plus B positive closure. And here is another positive closure you can write like this then after concat it will be A positive closure plus A positive closure B positive closure plus B positive closure. So from S you can generate A positive closure then A positive closure followed by B positive closure or B positive closure. Now what will be language for this language will be A power M B power N M greater than 0 N greater than 0 and there should be or why or it should accept a positive closure or b positive closure or a positive closure followed by b positive closure if it will be and it will only accept this a positive closure b positive closure it will not accept any number of a it will not accept any number of b so which string will generate from this you can generate any number of a you can generate any number of b you can generate any number of a followed by any number of b if this will be and you can only generate this a positive closure b positive closure means any number of a followed by any number of b minimum will be one minimum it will generate a b then it will generate a a a b b like this so any number of a followed by any number of b but what is language language is this it can generate only a positive closure it can generate only b positive closure it can generate a positive closure followed by b positive closure that's why this should be or if it will be and then language will be this if this will be or then language will be this either a positive closure or it will be b positive closure or it will be a positive closure b positive closure that's why you can generate any number of a or any number of b or any number of a followed by any number of b here you can see the above option this is same as this but here is and that's why this is wrong here this is or that's why this is correct just see this option this is m greater than equal to 0 and n greater than 0 here language is a clean closure b positive closure if this will be or then what will be language language will be only a clean closure union only b positive closure union a clean closure then b positive closure but here it is not possible that you can derive only a clean closure. You cannot generate epsilon from this. You cannot generate single a or any number of a from this language. So there should be minimum one b, then any number of a followed by any number of b. You cannot generate only a clean closure from this language. That's why this should be and. And means this condition plus this condition or means either this or this or both answer is option d a power m b power n m greater than equal to 0 and n greater than 0 and g2 is for a power m b power n m greater than 0 or n greater than 0 or as it will accept a positive closure b positive closure then a positive closure b positive closure here this is and as it will accept a clean closure b positive closure if this will be or it will accept only a clean closure but only a clean closure is not possible here that's why this is and and this is or if any doubts just ask me in comment thank you